Hi everyone and welcome to a quick video here on the uh, navigation or overview of the um, Schoology site. Uh, so when you log in, uh, the first thing uh, that you come to here is the course dashboard and um, I am logged in as a test student. So uh, what you are seeing on the screen now and what you saw when you first logged in are obviously a little bit different. Um, but as of now, you are only um, enrolled in the student overview course that you're currently in. Uh, but when the school year begins, all of your classes will populate and you will have many more courses listed here, especially for our older students. Um, and then not quite as many um, for some of our younger kiddos, but all of your courses that you that you are enrolled in um, will be um, will be here and can be accessed uh, from this course dashboard. So uh, that is the default screen that you'll see. You can also also toggle back and forth between that dashboard and recent activity. Um, and this is just a place where um, you'll see the the things that have recently occurred throughout your classes or groups that you're involved with. Um, right now, you will not see much of anything because obviously um, everything is just starting, but that will change uh, throughout the year. But recent activity can be accessed here um, on that on this first screen. Again, of course, dashboard is what uh, you'll see when you first log in. Another nice feature here over on the right is the upcoming section, and this is where you will see upcoming assignments or events, activities, things that you are uh, connected to. Um, will will appear here on the side. You can view just a quick snapshot of that here um, or you can um, access that information through your calendar. And We'll take a look at your calendar here in a little bit. But This is a very nice feature. Every single time you log in, it will be here on the right hand side. Good way to keep you organized and, and for um, reminders of, of what is coming, especially those things that are graded um, or like I said, important events or activities that you are connected with. Let's go across the top here. Um, we'll start left to right. And uh, when you start to navigate away um, away from this first page, if you ever just want to return to this main screen, this home screen, um, you just click on the Somerset here in the upper left-hand corner, and it will do that for you. Second tab here is Courses. And once again, the only thing you'll see here um, is not the test course that I'm looking at, but it is the, uh, the student overview course that you are currently in. Um, but again, once the year begins, all of your courses will be here. You can access them um, at that time. Next tab, groups. And while you are not uh, involved in any groups um, as of now, um, I'm, uh, certainly I believe that will change throughout the year for many of you. Um, I know some guidance counselors um, are already um, brainstorming ways in which they can um, utilize the, this group's feature. Also, those of you involved in, in clubs or extracurricular or co-curricular activities, your advisors and coaches um, may choose to um, create a group um, as an easy way to share resources, um, post information, make, you know, share announcements with you um, all in one place. Um, so again, I would imagine that um, this, uh, this will change for most of you here um, throughout the year. Next tab is resources. And in Schoology, there is um, a place here for you, to, uh, for, for you to store materials, for you to store your files. Um, you can add resources here um, by clicking Add File, and then you can access the files on your iPad. Um, so this is your own personal files. Um, let's skip down here to the apps. Uh, some of you might use your OneDrive, especially some of our older students, more um, than, our, than our younger students at this point. Um, but the nice thing about Schoology is the OneDrive resource app is embedded within Schoology, so you can access um, you just go through the steps of logging in and you can access all of your files on OneDrive directly from Schoology so it saves some steps. Um, and then the groups tab here, um, this is just, uh, again, if you are a part of any groups, um, you'll see that uh, here for this student, Eagle View is the school they're connected with, obviously the districts, uh, the districts shared resources. Um, but if you are in any groups, let's say your um, FBLA or reading competition, something like that, um, this would be a place for that group to have a shared area of, of files, which is certainly nice. Next thing here on the, the top left-hand side of, the, of your screen as we move left to right are grades. And you can access grades, you can access your attendance for each of your courses, um, and again, those will all show up once the year begins. Um, but I do want to caution you, um, your final grades, your final and official attendance um, those will all still exist in PowerSchool. So Parent Portal 
um, whether that's you, your folks at home, um, that is the, the, the location where you still want to be tracking your official grades and your official um, attendance because there may be things that are not completed directly in Schoology. Maybe it's a certain project or an assignment that just doesn't fit in Schoology um, for in person. And, and your teacher checks that um, and, and provides assigns a grade just like they have um, for years and then they would enter that into power school. So while everything that you complete in Schoology, any of the assignments, any of the assessments you complete in Schoology will show up here. Um, there may be things that you're doing in class that don't necessarily connect directly in Schoology and that's why you still want to be making sure that you're following um, uh, that information in parent portal where um, your official grades and official attendance exist. So as I said a little bit earlier, um, as you navigate away from that home screen, if you ever want to get back to that home screen, summer sit here in the upper left hand corner and it takes you back to that uh, course dashboard. Again, we had our upcoming events here and, and assignments here on the right hand side, but let's move to the top right hand side of the page and you should be looking at your name here. Um, you can access your profile, you can add a picture, um, you can access the schools page that you are uh, connected to and in your settings you, you have some choice within your settings as, as far as some of your notifications and information like that uh, but for the most part um, obviously many of those settings have have been or will be controlled um, at the school or the or the district level so moving right to left here uh, the bell is where any of those notifications will show up so maybe your teacher has um, posted a grade or an update um, or changed something within your course uh, this is where you will um, um, get a heads up that something has happened. So you'll see a little number here. You'll click on that, and again, you'll be able to access <clears throat> the information or, or um, uh, announcement or, or, or piece of um, information that your teacher wants to get to. So um, notifications are here. The next feature is messaging, and you can send a message to anyone here, student or faculty, um, and it's only within our organization, so it's 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 safe and it is controlled. Um, and, and we're looking forward to this feature because um, you know it's just going to be a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, more convenient than, than emails. Um, and we understand there's there's many situations where collaboration and communication are important with people that we are not directly face to face with all the time. So maybe it's um, a student group that you're collaborating with, maybe it is a teacher. Um, that you have a question about your course, um, this um, messaging uh, feature um, can be utilized by things. So we talked earlier about um, the upcoming assignments or yeah, upcoming assignments or information that you can access through calendar. You can click on the word calendar here, or again moving left to right, you can also click on the picture of the calendar, and it takes you to that monthly, weekly, or day view, whichever um, whichever view you choose to. Um, choose to use and just like those upcoming assignments showed up on that first page you see that they're also tied here directly to this uh, to this calendar one important thing to point out though um, and again this will change once the year begins but there are um, individual there'll be individual calendars for each of your courses and then the district and the school that you are connected with and you also have your personal um, your own calendar here so you can toggle all those on right now if you'd like to and, and, and there's probably not a whole lot of information that's going to be um, changed at this point, um, but once the year begins and, and all of your courses are um, options here for you to access as far as the calendar, just keep that in mind that you can choose to select or deselect any of those whenever you click on your calendar. And then finally, you can search the site here um, for anything that you might, might be looking for. Once again, you can always get back to that home screen here by clicking on Somerset, upper left hand corner, takes you back to that familiar view that I'm sure you're already getting comfortable with. Course dashboard, recent activity, upcoming assignments and information here, and then all of those options across the top part of your screen are things that you can access at any point. So this was just a quick overview of making your way around Schoology. And I'm sure that as you um, experiment and explore, um, this will all become very familiar to you very quickly. Thank you.